Mm, hello, everyone. I'm Pei Zhe Lü from Chinese Academy of Sciences. I'm very glad to share with you my, our paper, a data-free backdoor injection approach in your networks. Um, deep neural networks have shown to be vulnerable to backdoor attacks. Backdoor attacks can inject malicious behavior into the targeted DNA model using the poison samples. Um, these poison samples are always generated by stepping a trigger onto the main task uh, samples and assigning them to the target label. Then the backdoor DNA model will classify will be trained to classify all the poisoned samples to the target label. Um, not that, uh, almost the existing backdoor tags require accessing to the data relevant to the main task. However, uh, in some scenarios, accessing to the original main task uh, sample is not realistic, such as uh, private training data. Um, consider a clean model that have been released by the developer. Um, a attacker can download or steal the model and inject backdoors into it and then release it again. But how to inject backdoors when the main task is inaccessible? Um, that is a data-free scenario considered by us. In particular, uh, in the knowledge transfer domain, Data free means no access to the training or testing data of the pre trained model, and we borrow this, this concept in our paper. Um, to resolve the uh, main task uh, access, there are, uh, there are some data free backdoors uh, proposed. For example, a um, charging attack is to generate training, sam uh, training samples by reverse engineering uh, against each label. However, uh, such methods can only, can only be utilized for classification tasks. Um, Trajanite and DBI also propose data-free backdoors, and they are all, also limited in classification tasks. Um, therefore, uh, we aim to propose an approach to effectively inject backdoors into DNA models in diverse deep learning tasks under the data-free scenario. Uh, okay, now I will introduce our approach. Take the clean model uh, well-trained uh, well in the ImageNet test as an example. Um, since we assume the attacker have no access to the original training data set, uh, we think about whether, uh, whether we can collect a substitute data set, uh, uh, such as using a face data, data set, um, you, uh, such as you, you to face to inject backdoors. Following such an intuitive idea, um, we collect uh, some substitute data uh, by, by including samples used in other uh, tasks or crowd from the inter internet. Um, particularly, the substitute data can be relevant to the main task. Um, since there are redundant samples in the substitute data set, to, effective, to effectively inject backdoors into the large, model, large models, we can remove the, uh, the, these redundant um, samples based on our proposed similarity coefficient. Um, um, for the backdoor injection, um, the injected backdoor should be with high success rate, and the backdoor injection um, should only lead to little loss to the overall accuracy. Um, to, in to inject a backdoor, we step a trigger onto the samples of the collected uh, substitute data sets and uh, labeling these samples to the target label. Um, and we use the uh, proposed uh, R1 loss function to optimize the backdoor model. Um, the, uh, the backdoor model is initialized by the target original clean DNA model. Uh, according to our evaluation, after after backdoor injection, uh, we can we can active the 
injected back door using the uh, poison substitute data set because it is the training data. Um, and we all we can also uh, we can also active the backdoor using the poison uh, main task of sample steps with the uh, same trigger. We think this is because poison the substitute training samples acting as the background of the trigger. Um, um, it can be uh, can be considered as a random noise by the uh, backdoor model uh, during training. The backdoor model will will concentrate on the correlation between the trigger and the target label. So the poisoned main task samples stepped with the trigger will also be activated. Um, I will be also activated. <laughs> However, um, after backdoor injection. We find that the performance of the backdoor model on the main text decreases significantly. This is because the backdoor injection results in the fact that the logic of the substitute samples produced by the backdoor model is quite different from that of the original, original clean model. To solve this problem, we designed the uh, L0 loss function to minimize such uh, difference of the logics. Um, overall, uh, we designed a novel loss function of uh, L, L consisting of L0, L0 and L1 losses. Um, moreover, uh, there is lambda 1 in the L loss function to balance the uh, backdoor injection and the main task performance. If we set it as a fixed value, it is difficult for us to ensure the two tasks at the uh, same time. So uh, we propose a dynamic optimization to set the value of the lambda one. Um, by considering the main task performance and the backdoor injection. Um, due to the absence of the main task data, we choose to measure the above two metrics using the substitute samples. Particularly, uh, we evaluate the main task performance by P0, which measures the largest similarity distance between the backdoor model uh, and the clean model against the, the same clean um, substitute samples. We also evaluate the backdoor injection performance by P1, which measures the backdoor success rate on the poisoned substitute samples. Um, based on P0 and uh, P1, we dynamically set the value of the lambda 1. We evaluate our backdoor injection approach on five different mainstream tasks using nine DN models with different architectures. Uh, our attack achieve, achieves an excellent uh, at <coughs> attack success rate on the poison samples, uh, but only incurs little performance degradation on the main task. Moreover, we are the first to inject data-free backdoor into a tabular classification, image generation, and image caption tasks. We also evaluate the impact of different substitute data sets against the backdoor injection using models on the ImageNet task. We consider using both the in distribution and auto distribution data sets as the substitute data set. Um, that is, we use the ImageNet as the in distribution data set, and uh, we use the uh, Seller Survey A, which is a uh, uh, face data set, and the sensor take images as the uh, auto distribution and data uh, substitute data set. We can see that the survey and the uh, sensor take images 
uh, achieve similar uh, backdoor injection performance and uh, main task accuracy as the uh, in, in distribution substitute data set. Uh, therefore, we think, we think that substitute data can be irrelevant to, to the main task to inject backdoor. Uh, we also compare our work with other existing data-free backdoors. We can more efficiently uh, inject the backdoors into models with higher attack success rates and uh, less main task performance degradation. Most importantly, uh, these data-free backdoors can only be used in classification uh, tasks. Uh, in contrast, we can apply our backdoor to models of diverse uh, deep learning tasks. We also try existing backdoor defense um, approaches against our backdoor attack. However, uh, neural clinics cannot detect large triggers of our uh, backdoor. Uh, ABS produces high false positive and MNTD detects uh, our backdoors with low accuracy. Mm, in, in, you know, to sum up first, uh, we propose a new data-free backdoor approach by constructing a backdoor DN from a clean one based on the, uh, on the collected substitute data set and, uh, and the substitute data set can be relevant to the main task. Uh, we propose the substitute uh, um, data set reduction to effectively inject backdoors and uh, dynamic optimization to balance the main task of performance and the uh, backdoor injection at the same time. Uh, last but not least, our uh, approach is generic and uh, capable of injecting backdoors into uh, diverse tasks and models. Um, that's all my presentation. Thank you for your listening.